everyone, it's CJ. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, or welcome for the first time if you're new here. Today I thought it would be fun to do a 2021 releases that I am looking forward to. Nothing has really been on my radar for 2021 specifically. So this was kind of a fun exercise to look through a few websites about what's going to be released and kind of judge books by their cover and then Based on that, I was able to read the synopsis and see, see if I was interested. First up is Highway Blue by Elisa McFarlane. It's supposed to be a road trip love story that is full of sparkling prose, takes place over the American landscape, which I love, and might be kind of like a sad redemption story between an ex-husband and an ex-wife as they're forced on this road trip together. Sounds interesting. Sounds like um, some drama could devolve. Next up, I think this is a gorgeous cover. Infinite Country by Patricia Engel. This is a novel about a Colombian family and how their family life has been fractured by deportation, which I think just sounds like a really intimate exploration of what so many families are being forced to experience because of awful, antiquated, and terrible xenophobic racist immigration laws author is a daughter of immigrants some own voices vibes there i don't know a lot about colombia and i think this sounds really good next up the last orgy of the divine hermit by mark laner what a great title put out by little brown and company coming out in january this focuses on a father and a daughter relationship which i always love reading about and takes place over one night in a bar. I love very compacted novels that take place really quickly. For instance, um, Real Life by Brandon Taylor only happens over three days. A book about deep pleasures of reading and drinking, the tumultuous reign of a cabal of mystic mobsters, and of course, the transcendent love of a father for his daughter. Sounds great. Next up, Detransition Baby by Tori Peters. It's a novel about three women, transgender and cisgender, whose lives collide after an unexpected pregnancy forces them to confront their deepest desires around gender, motherhood, and sex. I love reading anything about queer parenting, queer relationships. A literary novel about a journey sounds great. Roxanne Gay said it was well-written and deeply chaotic. <laughs> <laughs> and full of gorgeous queer messy womanhood so more could you ask for really next up we can only save ourselves by allison wisdom wisdom what a cool last name that is this is a novel about a perfect teenage girl gone wrong there's some mystery behind it like it's kind of disrupting suburbia vibes it's akin to the virgin suicides which i love the movie hate the book it just sounds like a good kind of literary thriller I'm into it. Cover is gorge. I like the, the blocking of the photography on it. Next up, Fake Accounts by Lauren Euler. This is really interesting and sounds like a really contemporary take on the moment we're living in. It was like, it's set in the Trump administration era and a young woman is snooping through her boyfriend's phone and finds out that he's a popular anonymous internet conspiracy theorist. Um, one that is kind of right wing. So she finds that out and then that kind of shakes up her life and puts her off into some feminist journey of finding her own confidence uh, and self, which I think just the interaction between finding selfhood in real life versus these online porter portals through fake accounts, I think that the setup is just good. Put out by Catapult out in February. Next up, Dog Flowers, a memoir by Danielle Geller. This is a memoir of a Native American woman who is returning to the reservation she was born on and retracing her family's life through her mother. And it says it uses narrative and archive to kind of rediscover her mother's story after she's gone, which I think sounds like a really interesting premise and could be really beautiful put out in January by One World. Everything comes out in January, February. It's gonna be busy. Next up, We Play Ourselves by Jen Silverman. This is about a woman playwright who is put through a public scandal, so she has to flee New York for LA, and there she discovers a 
remake of a girls violent fight club that's supposed to be under feminist context and i think it's like a mystery and something goes wrong it just sounds like very contemporary and interesting and it's out in february by random house next up a book i have actually read already which is milk fed by melissa broder it's out in february put out by scribner i really liked this book it's about two jewish women who are discovering their sexuality and it's set in los angeles has a lot of good social commentary about food weight taking up space body empowerment uh disordered eating i thought it was a really interesting take from melissa broder and i really liked it a lot about like desire and appetite lastly a hundred boyfriends by brontes pernell this is about a queer man making his way through the margins of a white supremacist heteronormative society and it's supposed to be a lot of hand humor kind of funny and witty and a look at gay dysfunction which sounds interesting to me i actually saw this on matthew's channel this is out february and i don't know who the publisher is <laughs> hey well i don't know i encourage you to just take a look about what's coming out next year uh it's fun to anticipate a book's release and before i found this list i didn't know i didn't know of anything that was coming out in 2021 so i hope i hope you discovered something new here uh you know mark it to your goodreads page for something you want to read next and happy googling happy googling for for your 2020 reads cool okay bye